is Dan Abbott and I am making this video to show you how you can determine a scale to use when you're printing something out that was drawn at a specific scale but when you print it it has to be reduced in size to fit on a smaller sheet of paper. This is an issue that has come up because we're using so many um, Zoom classes for our, our classes at SMCC and the result of that is that students have to use PDF files and they have to print those files out to do work on them. So unlike when we were in a classroom where we could plot things at an actual size and then you could just we could print them for you so that you could use architectural scales to measure that doesn't always happen. So what I have is a document that I put together and this document I'm placing um, on the assignments for um, for the print reading class. But I wanted to just show you because I had a number of people ask about it. So what I've done here is, is a drawing. I have no idea what the scale was that was originally used because it wasn't put on the sheet itself. It was something that was drawn larger probably, shrunk down to go on a piece of A-size paper. Then I printed it out at 100%, but I don't know what's 100% of what. So how do I go about determining what the actual plot scale is at this point on this drawing? What I need to determine is how much of a distance is represented by say one inch on this drawing. If I measure on the drawing and it measures one inch, what does that equal in the real world? But I also, I'm gonna to try to see if I can find an architectural scale where the scale would be something like a quarter of an inch equals one foot or three eighths of an inch equals one foot and see if maybe I can find a scale that's close enough to an architectural scale so I can use it to do some estimating for feet. So I know that's 44 feet and I have a standard scale and an architect scale right here. So if I measure the distance represented by the 41 feet, which is right here, I measure that distance and I look and it shows me that it's seven, just about seven and nine sixteenths. That's how far it measures. Well, that tells me that I know that if I measure on the sheet of paper, seven and nine sixteenths of an inch, that that's going to equal 44 feet. So what I want to do now is to figure out some kind of scale that would allow me to use an architect scale where I have a fraction on the left and one foot on the right. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit on this. All right, so if I know seven and nine sixteenths of an inch represents 44 feet on this drawing, I can turn 7 and 9 16 into a decimal. Let me clear that out. So if I divide 9 by 16, and it used to be people knew this, but 0.5625, and then I add that to the 7, 7 and 9 16 is 7.5625. So that many inches represents 44 feet. So how many inches would represent 1 foot? I'm going to divide by 44 feet. Now, that means 0.171875 inches represents one foot on this drawing. Well, architect scales don't come in like that decimal form, but I can use that number just the way it is without having to worry about a scale because if I know that number right there is the number of inches on the drawing that represents one foot, if I now go over and just measure something else, I'm going to measure, let me turn that over, need to get in my way. So if I measure right here, this is uh, 8 feet 4 inches. If I measure that 8 feet 4 inches right there, it looks to me like it measures 1 inch and 7 sixteenths. So that's an inch and 7 sixteenths. That's what it measures. So if I say, all right, that's an inch and 7 sixteenths. Now I'm going to save this value right here. I'm just going to put it in my memory. And then I'm going to tell I'm going to decide what is 7 sixteenths, which you can do by dividing 16 into 7. Get that value right there. We'll add that to the 1. So I've measured that distance right here. So I want to know how far this is. And I know that I have a value representing the number of inches per foot. So if I say I want to divide, and I'm going to do a recall memory, that number by this number, it's going to tell me 8.36. Well, if I look over here, it 
eight feet four inches. So 0.3 would be kind of close to 0.4. So 0.4 feet, how far is 0.4 feet? Or if I want to be really specific, I'll just subtract the eight. And so I know it's eight feet, that. Multiply this times 12. It's going to tell me that would represent a little more than four inches. So this system works if I just use the decimal equivalent. I don't have to convert to a standard architectural scale. However, I could try to come up with the architectural scale that is as close as possible. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to recall that number. And again, that's the number in decimal form representing the number of inches in decimal form that represents one foot on the ground. So if I measure something in this drawing, that amount is one foot. Well, let's say how many, well, the smallest scales we have here are in 30 seconds of an inch. So we're going to multiply that times 32. So five and a half, say six thirty seconds of an inch is the result. Well, six thirty seconds is three sixteenths. So that means three sixteenths of an inch, or something close to three sixteenths of an inch, is equal to one foot. So if I look at my architect scale, and I see if there is a three sixteenths of an inch equals one foot, I discover that there is. It's right there. So now I'll try the same thing. Does that come close to forty one when I measure or not? And it comes out up here, it comes out to almost exactly 41 feet. So I could use 3 sixteenths of an inch to do some estimating. And the estimating I would do is things like, huh, I want to make sure I put receptacles close enough together. If I measure from here to here and say, I want to make sure that no point along the wall is further than six feet away. I've got my six feet. I can measure out to 12, make sure receptacles are less than 12 feet apart along that wall. Now I know I'm meeting the requirements of the National Electrical Code. So that's how you can use a regular ruler to determine what scale something that you've printed out that has been reduced in size to fit on a sheet of paper actually is.